Hi, this is Zain Khan here and now we are going to do an even more interesting example of forward kinematics. Before we move on to the question, let me walk you through the robot and a few things that you should know right away. So the first thing that we should know right away is that the fixed frame is not at the base of the robot but it is placed somewhere here. So it is not at the base of the robot but it is placed at a distance somewhere. It is given in the question that this is displays four units in X and two units in Y. Now the second thing that I need to note is that this robot is a R R P robot. What this means is that there is a revolute joint here and there is a revolute joint here. Uh, so there is going to be a motor attached at, at this joint and at this joint which allows the links to rotate and then there is a prismatic joint at this point. So what it means is that this length right here is not fixed but it can increase or it can decrease since it is a prismatic joint. And the third thing that we should notice right away is that the direction and the location of the final moving frame is already given to us and drawn on the diagram. So this is the final moving frame. Now let us go on to the question itself. So the question is for the RRP robot shown, determine the location of the moving reference frame by writing the forward kinematics. This is what we did in the previous video as well. And it further goes on to say that there is no need to multiply out the homogeneous transforms. So it just asks, us to write out the homogeneous transforms as, a, uh, as H1, H2, H3 and so forth and there's no need to multiply them out. And the second part says that for theta1 is 48 degrees, theta2 is 112 degrees and L2 is 3.6, state the values of x, y and theta of the moving reference frame relative to the fixed reference frame. So in part B all we need to do is from the homogeneous transform that we obtain in part A, we are going to input the specific values of theta1, theta2, and a2 and get the final homogeneous transform and from that we can extract the x, y values which are the values of the final moving frame in the fixed frame and the, also from that we can get the theta which is the orientation of this moving frame in the fixed frame. So kind of this angle. Before we move on to part A, let me just draw out the moving frames at each of the joints. So the first moving frame is going to be here with the x-axis pointing here and the y-axis pointing here. The second moving frame is going to be here with the x-axis pointing along this link the y axis perpendicular to it. The third is going to be here, the x axis, the x axis pointing along this link. And the y axis here. And for the fourth, we have already been given this reference frame. So I call it this one M1, moving frame one, this one M2, this one M3, and the final one as M4. So what we need to do is in part A we need to go from the fixed frame to the M1 frame, from M1 frame to M2 frame to M3 frame and finally to M4 frame. So I am going to make use of a number of homogeneous transforms. I am going to use H1 which takes this from to this. Then I'm going to make use of H2, which takes M1 to M2 and similarly H3 and H4. So the homogeneous transform that I want is H1 times H2 times H3 and H4. Where the H1 is going to take the fixed frame to this point. The H2 is going to take M1 frame to M2. 
the H3 is going to take this to this point right here and the H4 is going to take this to here. I hope the diagram isn't too messy to understand. So writing it out, I can write H1 as a rotation matrix with an angle of theta 1. And then there are two zeros. I can write zeros as zero vector transpose. Then the displacement is four and two and one. Similarly, the H2 is going to be the moving frame M2 with respect to M1. So the rotation is going to be theta two. Zero transpose and 3 and 0 and 1 and h3 is going to be m3 with respect to m2 so here the rotation is going to be just 40 degrees 0 transpose the displacement here is going to be a2 and x and 0 and y and 1 and for the final frame h4 now for the final frame h4 my when i displace m3 to this point the x-axis is along this line so i can take it all the way here which is going to be 330 degrees or since i know counterclockwise is positive so clockwise must be negative so i can use this which is minus 30 degrees since i am going in the clockwise direction so i can write this as minus 30 this is zero transpose. Uh, the displacement is four units in X, zero in Y and one. And this is the answer to part one. Since there was this, that there is no need to multiply, so we won't multiply it out. And this is the answer that we get for part one. So part one is done. Now moving to part two. So in part two, all we need to do is we need to just input the values that they have provided us. So I hope you do remember that this A that I am writing everywhere is the rotation matrix, which is of the form of cosine of theta, sine of theta, minus sine of theta and cosine of theta. So this is my A matrix. So if I'm writing A of theta, so this is what I mean by A of theta. I just wanted to put it out just in case you forgot. So this is what I mean by the rotation matrix. Now, once I multiply it out, what I get is So this is the homogeneous transform, transform that I get and this H takes the fixed frame and takes it directly to the final moving frame M3. From this I can directly reduce that these two numbers are the X and Y coordinates of the final moving frame. So this is my X, this is my Y. So if I go up in the question it asks me to find out the X y and theta so directly from looking at this final transformation matrix that i get i can say that my x is minus 1.1343 and my y is 4.0926 this is very easy now i need to find out the theta which is the orientation of the final moving frame with respect to the fixed frame so i know that this part right here the first two by two matrix is just a rotation matrix and we know that the rotation matrix always takes this form so by comparing the two we can see that this term right here is going to be sine of theta this term right here is going to be cosine of theta so i can write that the sine of theta over cosine of theta would be equal to the sine is 0.1736 cosine is minus 0.9848 
and sine over cosine is tan of theta. So if I just solve it out, I get theta to be equal to the tan inverse of this and this gives me the theta as equal to 170 degrees so these three are my answers for part b this is my x coordinate this is my y coordinate of the moving frame and this is my theta now i could have of course done it another way i could have used this equation right here which is big x equals h times x with the h being this h right here and if i wanted to find out the coordinates of the moving frame in the fixed frame which is the point right here i know that in m4 this point is going to be the origin so the x and y coordinates are going to be 0 and 0 so Simply in this equation, I can input the small x as 0 and x, 0 and y. And of course, there is a 1 at the end. And this x is the x, y and 1. If I multiply these two out, what I'm going to get is the following. x, y and 1 would turn out to be equal to minus 1.13434. 4.0926 and 1. So from here also we can see that the x coordinate is going to be this which is the same thing as this and the y coordinate is going to be this which is the same thing as this. Of course there is no need to do any of this stuff right once you get the homogeneous transformation matrix you can directly pull out the x and y from these two values and you can find out the theta which is the orientation by making use of the fact that this is just the rotation matrix within a homogeneous transformation matrix and and you can use this process to find the orientation i have used the software to draw this robot for this particular configuration and you can see that the x and y values and the orientation that we got from our equations is pretty close to the actual thing so if you were able to get this correct good job and if you have any questions leave them in the comment below don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video thank you